Hey guys, let me know if you can hear the audio. You should be able to. Disabled sound on the phone. I'll be all, all set to do another. I have not prepared anything. This is the first time I'm doing it. Let's live stream it. Stream. <laughs> Mike, okay. Yes. Hey, Marcel Zuidwijk. Ja hoor, Ray is here. Michael, Mikel, Mikel, I guess, is here. Nice. Well, let's wait a little bit for uh, people to come in. Um, yeah, let's hope this uh, doesn't become uh, as much of a... Well, uh, let's see, how should we call it? Shit show? <laughs> as the last live stream was. It was fun, hey. But, uh, yeah... It's not where you come to technically learn. So, for everyone who's already here, this will be the first time of me doing this together with you. So, yeah. Oh, I need to check if something is working real quick. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Yes, it is. Okay, good. I have to have the USB cam power. Hey, waterschade. Yeah, let's hope we don't get any water damage today. I don't know. We'll see. Matthijs Strik, hi Quindor. Hey there, got a stereo stream. Had both YouTube and Discord open. Cool. Okay. Well, I don't do much on Discord while I'm here, but yeah. Yeah, let's hope we don't need the, the miss for this time. She said, uh, well, I might go for a walk. I don't know, but don't ask for my help. <laughs> do you mind me designing some PCBs while, meanwhile? Hey, I get that. I do that on some other live streams. Oh, cool. Experimenting with the hot air gun. Oh, you received the hot air gun you tested. Cool. You mean the, the combination unit we did in one of the live streams? Good move for her. Yeah, yeah, for sure. 60 people here already. Hey, IMAX. After flood might need hot air re rework station. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was literally just assembling a quad LED. Nice. Some flick buttons in Home Assistant. Oh, I, I don't know about those. Is the top cam charged? Yes, it is. Yes, it's, uh, it should be right here. There we go. This is the top cam. And uh, it'll last for about one and a half hours. And otherwise we have uh, USB cam power. But we'll manage through. I ordered the cables and everything I need to make uh, the top cam permanent power too. But they haven't arrived yet. So, yeah. I desoldered the buck converter of the quad. Okay, of a, a so an analog quad then, not a dig quad. New PC incoming. Um, not so much new PC, but a new processor, because I got. Yeah, you can't see that. Uh, well, it's a uh, AMD Ryzen 9 5950X. Oh yeah. So I was thinking, okay. When I'm going to put my new processor in, let's change out the water cooling at the same time. And while when I don't want to be messing with it right at the spot. So I was thinking, let's bench build everything and then let's see how that goes. And since I'm kind of using it as an AIO, because there's nothing else going to be in the loop, maybe I can just build everything tonight. And then once I swap my CPU, I can also swap the water cooling. <clears throat> yeah, it's not so hard with the hot air. Yeah, that's true. So the 3090, I might water cool at some point, but not right now. I've I've been going AMD for the last few years. No, I have an RTX 3090. I think that'll suffice. Disney Plus. <laughs> cool, 75 people. 
So, um, we can get started a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Let's go to this view. And I need to move myself a bit this way. And then I need to do a bit of this. Such a professional stream, this. Do you always upgrade every year to the best gear? Um, when I when I can and when it makes sense. So let me go back to the face. So no, that's not okay. <laughs> so this time, um, the garage PC which I'm streaming for from right now, it's really really struggling with what I'm trying to do. Basically, I'm kind of stuck at doing exactly this because anything more will overload it. So my 39, uh, 3900X will go to this PC where, together with a new motherboard and some new memory and stuff like that. And then my main PC gets an upgrade to a 5950X. So that way I can basically upgrade two PCs at the same time. Otherwise I would have probably stuck with the 3900X, which is honestly fine. Um, but this, in, in this case I was like, yeah, let's make it a real upgrade. Also installed 12 meters of WS2812V EVO with three power injections on my office building. Cool. <laughs> Swapping the cooling on the streaming computer while you're streaming. Yes. No. No. <laughs> that's not going to happen right now. So, the main, um, the main unit for this stream is... Uh, everything I have here is from Barrow. And uh, the main unit which kind of sparked my interest was this one. And if people have seen the Quinn box, they have probably already seen this uh, pass by a little bit. And this is a pump, a water block reservoir combo unit. I think it's this one, yeah. Okay, so there's some accessories. Don't need those right now. And this is uh, the main port. And of course, I thought this would make things easier. Maybe it makes things harder. I don't know, but this is what we've got. Let's put that in the corner. So this is, uh, well, as I said, it has three functions. Uh, and that is, uh, it has a heatsink. So it is the water block for on your CPU. Am I in focus? I don't think so. There we go. And uh, then it is a, uh, a reservoir, so where water collects and recycles basically, and you can fill and drain it. And then it is also the pump. And it's one handy all-in-one uh, unit. Oh, cool. A, fill. B, inlet. C, outlet. Okay. Corona-free live streams. Oh yeah, for sure. What do you need a 5000 series for, though? Well, video editing will certainly help. Put your PC outside. It's freezing here in the south of Netherlands. Yes, it is here, too. And RGB. Yeah, it actually came the block, if you see here. It came with a mini strip of uh, LEDs. Uh, maybe we'll hook, up, hook those up later. We'll see. So, <clears throat> normally uh, the, this cable comes detached. So this is the, the pump, the reservoir, and the water block, which sinks away the heat. Now, I have no idea how to do this, uh, but we need to attach a radiator to it. So this cable goes in here, and then it, uh, it has all these leads. Uh, it has a Molex for power. That's too bad. Who uses that anymore? But okay. And then it has a, a PWM fan header, which will give Taco, I believe, of the pump and um, you can control it using PWM, or it has a little manual control, which we'll try out later, to, uh, to set the, the pump speed using uh, this little twisty knob here. Do you control your lights to your own controller? Yeah, probably, if, I think so. Well, but we'll figure that out later. Let's do the water part first, and then maybe we'll have already wrecked it, so. Now, in my... Uh, actual PC, I will be using this guy. And this guy is... Uh, oh. 
Let me get it out of the box. Let's get this out of the way real quick. Okay. So this is a 360 millimeter radiator, which is also, as you can see, pretty thick. I believe it's 60 millimeters thick. So yeah, this is in regards to radiator sizes, quite a beefy boy. Yes, all of this is from AliExpress and um, the links will be in the description or are already in the description, I think. Uh, you have to check that. Uh, it came a bit, uh, a bit dented, sadly enough. They weren't very careful with the chipping, but I think it's still watertight. And this part I can probably put in the, the back of the case. So then, eh, it's okay. I got a, I got 30 or 40 bucks off for it. So, hey. Noctua fan. Yes, I'm going to reuse the Noctua fans I currently have in my PC. Of course. What else? I mean, that's bigger than the radiator in my car. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is quite the, uh, the size radiator wise. But we're not going to be testing with that today because that'd be really very unwieldy and I'd need lots and lots of water and, you know. So I also have this smaller box and that's because I'm going to water cool a second PC at, uh, at some point. Actually, the streaming PC will also get water cooling. And for that, I have this one. And that is... <laughs> it looks absolutely tiny i mean if you look at it like this it's like okay sure it's uh let me move it around it's only one fan shorter right so you think oh it's it's about the same size but then look at that <laughs> i can't do things without going overkill i guess so this is a normal 20 millimeter radiator and then 240 millimeters in size and then this is a 360 millimeter radiator, radiator so three 120 millimeters in size but then it's a bit thicker too <laughs> so yeah i mean i mean it's it's just you know this is the guy your wife tells you not to worry about right <laughs> So yeah, so for today, we're going to hook up the small one and test with that and do all the figuring out stuff, do with the small one. And then once I actually install it at some point, I'll, uh, I'll use the big boy. But uh, yeah, that just be very, very unwieldy on the desk right now. So let me try and get this back in the box. And again, all these things are linked in the description. If you happen to be looking for water cooling parts and you're like, hey, well, don't take my advice because I have no clue. Take my advice regarding LEDs, that's fine. Uh, but regarding this stuff, yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm figuring it out too. <coughs> so, okay, okay. So now we have... Um, pump block reservoir and uh radiator the, the yeah, pump reservoir block combo and we have a radiator right now we need some more parts because we need to connect that together and that's where i have this uh ek zmt i believe tubing um it's matte black tubing from ek will you be flushing the rats first um I thought about that, but I, then I didn't do it, and I'm not sure I can be I can do that on stream. So we'll have to see. I'm too scared of leakage to get into water cooling myself. Yeah, but that's why we're doing this on a desk. I mean, if it works on a desk, it'll work on in the PC. That's how I figured. So we'll be using some of this tubing, and we'll be reusing the pipe cutter. Some of you might remember from uh, at the last live stream. And this time we're going to be using what it's actually intended for. So, yeah. Oh, so no glass tubes. Oh, no, absolutely not. <laughs> oh, okay. No, okay, sure. So, um, to connect all that together, let me kill this pop-up real quick. There we go. 
uh, we have fittings and other stuff. And, well, let me just... I think I might have bought too much. But, you know... <laughs> I really hate it when I like prepare for stuff and then I'm missing one of this or one of that. Um, I think I might have enough, um, enough uh, um, fittings, don't you think? Pak is avond daar. Yeah, plumber Quindor. Oh god. Uh, so um yeah. Uh I don't know. I hope it's enough. This will be worse than an IKEA build. Oh absolutely, because you get an instructions for that. And this is just me going gung ho and seeing what happens. So I think I need a few of these. These are um, normal uh, tube fittings, I guess you could say. Let's get a few of those. So since we're doing radiator to reservoir, and which is a pump block combo, I think I only need four, uh, four of those which connect the tubing to something else. So that's these. And let me turn on the... No, don't, okay, yeah. So I believe these are the ones you need where you can slide the tube over it and then screw it into a block or a, a something else. So we're going to need four of those at least, right? Do you use AIO or DIY? Oh, okay, yeah, I, I, I've used AIO for a long time, but we're going to, yeah, why not? So I need a plug cap, I believe. Uh, don't need O-rings right now. So I'm going to start throwing things back into the box because, you know. Um, some 90 degree fittings. Do we need those? Mm -hmm. Some extend. Okay, all, all the extension stuff, let's uh, throw back in the box real quick. Because those are just tubes to uh, to make things longer. Oh, and this is this is some special extension extension. Hey, you can't say I didn't prepare. I just bought everything, right? Extension. Yeah, right now I would, I'm thinking too, maybe, maybe I should have just gone with uh, air cooling. <laughs> but hey, where's the fun in that, right? I have to experiment a little bit, see how things work. And if I don't like it, eh, let's change something else. 90 people here watching me sort out water cooling fittings. Cool. So if we look at the block, right? And this is going to be on the CPU if we, if we, let's get a motherboard. Let's, let's see. Hold on. Let's figure this out. Cause I, I, I really don't know. Let's, no, let's move it. Okay. okay hold on. So this is a motherboard. This is the motherboard that will be for uh, the streaming PC. So it's an X570 Pro Prime from uh, from Asus. But let's uh, let's use it to uh, mock out the water cooling, because I don't actually know how the block goes onto the board. Right? Too much stuff. Okay. Okay. Something like that. Okay, so if we have the, sorry for the glare, that's going to be difficult to get rid of. If we have the CPU socket right there, right? And we have this block, I believe it can only go on this way, 
And this is an AMD socket, so there's no problems with uh, pins that will get bent or something like that. The pins are on the CPU. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't do this if you have an Intel board. Okay, so it can go on this way. And that fits on this motherboard. And uh, oh, RAM clearance is also still okay. Nice. And... Um, it can fit on this way too, I guess. Well, I might actually like that better. Because more than enough RAM clearance, the cables can be a short run up to the top of the case. And then the tubing will come from here, right? And the pins on the CPU themselves even tend to be repairable if they bend. On AMD, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so... If we look at the socket and how it will fit on there, that should be no, at least on this motherboard, that should be no problem whatsoever. So the cables will come from, uh, from this side, okay? And then most likely what I would do is I'd have the radiator here like that. And so the tubes only need to go from here to there. Oh, that's really short. I guess once I do an actual install, I'd measure the tubes exactly the right length. Those water cooling parts look pretty good, to be honest. Thank you. Yeah. So we only need small tubes, but then we can decide if we want, um, you know, like this. <coughs> we can screw the, 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 the tubes with a fitting directly into the block, or we can use, for instance, one of these. So this is a 90 degree fitting, and those can go in here like that somehow it's hard to dry fit without the case yeah this isn't really meant as a dry fit more as in let's figure out water cooling as a whole <laughs> okay this can still spin so then i could do it like that and let's see this is the fill port and this is the inlet and then we have the outlet okay But do I like that? I don't know. Could two of these fit together? I don't know. Hmm. Do I have another 45? I do. Just be warned that you cannot always trust the no-name knockoff pumps that Burrow, Burrow is known to use. They are not very reliable and are known to randomly die. I'm not sure which type of pump the AIO is trying to use, but probably either DDC or SPC. I believe it's DDC, but I'm not well versed in this kind of stuff. Let me try and twist that. Uh, don't. Uh, these might not fit together. Yeah, these don't fit together. That's not going to work. Oh, don't nick the acrylium or whatever. Okay, so uh, we might need an extension tube on one of them. Or I just screw it in all together, all, uh, you know, immediately. We can, well, let's, let's look at it immediately. Oh, wow. Okay. You had five pumps die on you, D5 soul holder. Okay. That's good to know. So let's see if we can have two fittings uh, that go straight in there, right next to each other. Because if that's not going to work, I will need to use extension shoes. Right? Okay. Sorry for all the crackling. So these would go in here. Oh! That is tight, but that does fit. Thanks, Michael. See you later. <laughs> I'll try and keep it dry. Okay, so this is very tight, but it does fit, right? And yeah, they, they, you can hear them a little bit, but it can work. Okay. Whoa.
<clears throat> well, I can believe I believe you can still swap the pump uh, on here if you if you really want to. I think not sure. Okay, um, so two fittings can fit, but if I want to use an extension, it doesn't fit. Or if I want to use a uh, you know a forty-five port. But do I want to do that? I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I use an extension and then use the, the 45? Or should I just go straight out with tubing? Um, <laughs> don't ask me how I know. <laughs> what do you guys think? How should I, Does anyone have any good tips on how to make this loop, uh, you know, the easiest and the best? These are all, I need to sort this out a little bit. Okay, so we know what the motherboard looks like now, so I'm going to take the motherboard away. And put it back in its box. Is the hose bendable? Straight. Okay. Yep. Well, this is the hose. And uh, yeah, that's pretty bendable. That's fine. So, if we go from here, you know, I guess it could pretty easily go to the radiator. Do we just want to try it without any uh, 45s or 90s or extensions or anything like that? Just straight into the block. Just call Linus. Yeah, well, he's probably actually has more water cool experience than I have. I'm pretty sure of that, actually. Yes. Okay. So, okay. Sure. Then, does anyone have any comment on the tube length? Because I have three meters of tube, so it's okay to cut it now and then later when I do the action install, cut it the right length. So that's, that's not a problem. Um, just trying to sort stuff out here. Use 45s when using it in a case. Okay. So today we're just going to keep it easy, make it straight. And uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Try to make the straightest path possible to the destination. That should be fine. Okay. Cool. So let me get some more of these out. Don't cut now. Cut only after you measure measure in the actual case. Well, I have three meters of tubing, and I need some tubing to do here on the bench. So I will be cutting uh, some off for now. For you know, for using it right now. That's a short extension. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Get back here. Ah. Okay. Sorting completed. Somewhat. Yes. Good. Okay. Are you only cooling the CPU and not the GPU as well? For now, it's only going to be CPU. So very simple loop. And I might include the GPU later on in that. Okay. So, um, I, I, I get what you're saying as Sinuhe, Sinuhe Vol, Voltari, but um, I need some testing tube for here on the bench. I mean, I can't test without tubing. So, uh, if we have my tubing here, what would be a decent length? Like something like this? How long is that? How long are normal AIO cables? Is that like 
30 cent. What's the normal length of an all-in-one cooler cable or a tubing length? Does anyone know? I plan on using it in an O11 dynamic and in a fractal design case. So I have two projects for water cooling. Um, but yeah, but for now, I just need some standard tubing to, you know, test on the bench here. And I probably uh, some I can reuse in one of those PCs. So what, um, hey, Jay Test is here, cool. So what would be a good length? This is 40 centimeters. Between 30 and 50 centimeters AAO usually. Okay, I have a built-in one, oh, okay. You can put the radiator outside of this length. Yeah, well, <laughs> sure. So let's do 40 centimeters. That's, that feels like a decent length. Yeah, I think so. Let's hope so. I don't know. Yeah, let's do 40. Or ish. 40 ish. So 40 here. That would be here. Okay. Anybody saying not to do 40 centimeters? Should I do 30 or 50? 40 good? Let me know. Let me know. Whole room water cooling. Well, yeah, maybe at some point. No, I don't think so. Okay. Anybody 40? Do not do 40. What cooling fluid have you got now? For right now, we're just using normal water. Uh, I have distilled water and I also have Mayhem's something something. So once this is all done, I will probably clean everything with the cleaning fluid and stuff like that. And then uh, put it together um, using some uh, distilled water just, you know, and, and adding some antibacterial and anti-growth and stuff like that. Or no, I have the Mayhem's for that. Yeah. Do 50. 50. Okay. I guess over length isn't really an issue. Always a bit extra. Put LED in the tube. Well, maybe at some point. Brave man using regular tap water. Well, it's okay to test, right? Isn't it? And then I have distilled water and the O11 Mayhem stuff. Maybe use glycol. It's not going to freeze in there. Yeah, always be too short. Okay, okay, sure. I'll give it a bit extra, but I'm done waiting. So, we're going to do the cutting. Oh, I have to cut it straight, sorry. Okay, that was easy. Yeah, that's a pretty good cut. Nice. Okay, um, so I'm thinking I'm just going to make two tubes that are exactly the same length. Is that a good idea? Should one be slightly longer than the other, or should they be the same length? I don't know. Didn't think about that. You use the stilt right now also? Yeah, it's not going to be in there for long, just during the live stream, and I'll drain it after that. That's fine. So should they be exactly the same length or should I make them a different length? Same length, okay. One should be a bit longer, depends on how you route it. Uh, okay. Well, we just check the routing. Eighty people watching. Cool. Yep, distilled all the way. Let's need to clean afterwards. Okay, well, I'm going to be using cleaning fluids after this uh, for the radiators and stuff like that, just to be sure. Um, so I think I'll do with normal water now and then rinse it with some distilled later. I'm happy to watch your struggles. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm just going to cut the tubes the same length. I think that will work out, right? So, 
should be about this length. Okay, we have two tubes. Yeah, well, we this is it. This is it now. <laughs> oh, okay. One is ever so slightly longer than the other. <laughs> I guess that's fine. I need to go now. Good luck with it. Bye, Tiska. Okay, and you said go straight. So let's see if we can get some of this stuff on there, right? Let me turn on the use B cam for that. Don't need that anymore. So this stuff comes apart. Oh, there we go. And the tube, I believe, should slide over here. And then you cap it or you screw it in with this part. And then this side goes into your uh, water cooling part. Right? Uh, do I have that right? Let me make this slightly smaller okay so if we have the tube i need to slide this one on the tube i think and then that's oh, gonna be a tight fit okay needs a bit of force but then you can uh squeeze it on there It doesn't want to focus on. Okay, does that look correct? First put the fitting into the part and then install the tube. Okay, I didn't do that. Uh, but now I need to get this, uh, this end cap on there. Oh man, that's tight. Okay, I can screw it. Does it need to be screwed down completely? Ugh. That's tight. But it's not as tight as it can go, right? Can you see that? So you don't have to rotate the tube or part at the other end. Yeah, okay. So it, I, it's... I, I, maybe if I really force it, I can close it completely, but does it need to be? <laughs> Finger tight. Ah. Okay. Well, this isn't going to come off. Tight enough without Teflon. So uh, this would be, this would be fine then, right? Let me just test fit it here. Huh, interesting. How, how am I going to do this on two sides? So that's why you said maybe mount it to the block first. Huh. Okay. Huh, I guess that worked. <laughs> Don't ask how I know. Uh, I can figure out how you know. I, uh, I, uh, I appreciate all the tips. So for this one, uh, I guess I should... Let me point this down a bit more. For this one, um, I should put it in first. going to be really tight screwing that in yeah. yes there are o-rings on the on the sides that go into the block oh this is going to be tight because even without the tube Too tight. Okay. 
This is too tight. I'm having a hard time uh, turning it. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So I might need an extension anyway, just to make this fit a bit better. Uh, is that a good solution? Because these ports are too tight. So, is an extension a good solution for that? Let me know. I need to find one. Here's one. Okay. Let's see. I do have 90 degree bends. I also have 90 degree bends, but those also have an issue fitting on here uh, in regards to the spacing. But I can just put one of these on. Okay. Yeah. And now I can easily screw this one in. Right? I guess it doesn't look that pretty. Hmm. Can I use 190? Is that an idea? So let me take this out. Oh, Ooh, okay. Can I put a 90 in? Yeah, see, that's the problem. Uh, if I put this 90 in, I, I could force it, I guess, but... Yeah, it's, they're too wide. Put it in the middle one, you will be clear for the right side. Put an extension on both, okay. Yeah, but then I run into the same problem again, right? Let me just take this one out. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. Obviously, in the design engineer didn't... Well, or they use different fittings, which do fit, right? Um, can I use the outside ports? No, no, don't force, I know. Because A and B are connected together. So aren't they in the same chamber? So... In theory, I would be able to use uh, the two outsides and then use the middle one as a fill drain port, right? Because it's, it's the same chamber. And that would, you know, that would fit easily. I could put a 90 on here. I could put a 90 on here. This one doesn't want to rotate. Yeah, you can do that too. Okay, well, that's easier. Oh, okay, can rotate. Do I want to use 90s then? Because mm, the block was going to be like this. Radiator over here. Turn it, I unscrew it again. Damn it. Okay, I can turn this one pretty easy. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, so now I have two 90s on here. And that will, then I can make it work easily. So like that. And one like that. Yeah. Doesn't look the prettiest though. <laughs> I could do it without the 90s. Yeah, this is 45s. Yeah. Last hint before I run off. Gamers Nexus has a great clip on how to mount AIOs in terms. Yeah, okay. I've seen that one. Yeah. Don't worry. I think I can just do it like this. Yeah, that looks better. Don't need the 90s right now, I think. Cool, okay. And um, maybe then for the middle, no, <laughs> that won't fit. Okay, never mind. Thanks, uh, Sunuhe Valtare. <laughs> Jay would fill the rat with OJ. Yeah. So maybe on in the middle, I do the extension. I'm not making this uh, prettier, am I? <laughs> Okay. I guess so. I don't know. See, that's just the thing I don't know. Do I want it to fill it like this? Or do I need to connect a, uh, a host to it to fill it? I don't know! So let's connect the other hose up. Let's first make, make the loop and then we'll figure the rest out, right? Um, so this one's already in here. Let me take this one out. And then screw this one in because right now we can do it like that. Okay. There we go. And then this one should fit on here. I'm not sure I can show that on camera very well. Oh, wait, I put, <laughs> forgot to put the end part on. I have to put this part on before I uh, put it on there. Okay. Keep that back. And then oh, force the hose on there. Okay. And now to get it down and screw this in. Oh, the fitting needs to go down to oh, it's tight. Trying to do this somewhat on camera. Ah. Ah. Okay, so now we have a block with uh, two cables right here. Or, yeah, and let's connect that to the radiator, I guess. I don't know. Because the radiator has two ports over here. I don't believe it has an in and an out port because it's a flow through design. So it just goes like that. So I don't think that matters. And let's just get it set up right now so we can start adding water, I guess. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So I hope I don't break it before I figure it out, but, you know. Okay, a fitting on there. And then a fitting on there. Off topic, but curious when more Dig Uno, Dig Quad available in the US. Uh, Dig Uno should be available right now. 
and the quad we're hoping end of next week but uh yeah it, it's uh, busy times in 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 the chinas right now so we have to wait a little bit um and since it's a flow through in and out also doesn't really matter i think so i can just so if the radiator would be like this and then the pump lock would be like that um going to the closest one makes most sense i think so like that what do you guys think dick stuff needs to be available for my inside the eu yeah i'm working on that but uh that's taking a long while uh, um, maybe at some point next year uh, but there's a lot that's involved with uh, making that possible, uh, Johnny. Okay, let's uh, get the tubing on here. Ooh. Okay. This tube is pretty uh, stiff. <laughs> Woohoo for maybe. Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on lots of stuff, but uh, here. Cool. Nice, Steven. Wow. This tubing only barely fits in this fitting, I have a feeling. But on the other hand, uh, it's probably not gonna come off. Oh man, okay. That's uh, tight enough, I think. So let's do the other tube on the down port okay so did everyone who knows what they were doing leave because <laughs> I'm not the one who knows what he's doing I'm just screwing stuff in here I like it tight so that looks good okay yeah this is actually pretty hard to turn it's okay, it's doable, but a little bit more in the top one. Don't over tight screwing those in fittings in ever. Okay. Oh, wait, now this one came loose. Uh, hmm. How do I do this? So, now the tube one is tight, but the one in the radiator came loose because of the tension force. Looks like my homebrew setup. Well, yeah, it's probably not far from that. Okay, I need to use a pair of pliers because otherwise I can't grip it. Is that a big no-no? So, I need to hold this part. Because otherwise I can't turn the other part. Now let's do this. Yeah, now I need to put some tape on the pliers. No, it's okay. The fittings are pretty, uh, pretty strong actually. Okay, I need to get this pipe off here. Ah, okay. I need to make sure the fitting is screwed in properly first. So it doesn't come loose. And then I need to put the pipe on. Okay, and then I need to screw this on without twisting uh, any of the two parts. Damn. Top tube too long. Yeah, looks like it. Hey, Gabriel. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, okay. Well, we can cut some off right now. That's a good... Uh, we can just go like... I think a little bit would be fine. There we go. It's 
Still looks a bit long, I guess. Hmm. One and one now, yeah. So we need to make sure this part doesn't rotate. Uh, um, let me. So this part shouldn't rotate and then the tube should also shouldn't rotate because then it gets twisted right so I need to get this over there and then screw it in without the tube going with it okay Yeah, I don't like using soap because of uh, the residue and perfume, which I'm allergic to involved and stuff like that. So, but I think this is fine. I guess we could do, uh, oh, I have something we can use to test. I forgot about that. Before we do water, let's do air. So now, okay, nice. This can still lay flat on the table. We have two tubes connected making progress and now i should unpack this thing i forgot about that you don't probably don't want soap in your loop okay sure that's that's true too uh let me, oh no no no, no. Let's, let me make a little bit of space here because this is so much smarter than testing with water which would be so much more fun but this is a little attachment you can add which is a pressure gauge and valve and a little uh, a little pump and if it's airtight it should be watertight right so let me put the extension tube on here And then, uh, I think this goes in here. There's 106 people here watching me stumble along, trying to create something water cooling-ish. And then I believe, th so this is a gauge, and I believe this goes in here. Okay. And then I believe this goes in here. And then you can, I don't know, not what? Oh, I'm feeling pressure. Uh, but it could be this screw. Let me give you guys a better overview. There we go. Um, not sure which, what goes where, because right now, oh. Okay. Okay, sure. Uh, I guess we should go to the green port. Interesting. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, and then I need to screw this in, I think. Let's see. Yeah. So there's a screw here to let the air through when you're pumping and then you need to seal it. Okay, so let's screw that open again. And let's add, let me do this uh, like that. <laughs> so let's see, uh, uh, okay, I need to do this, hold on. And then close it up. No. Well, we're at um, about.
about 1.0.5 bar. Uh, I guess I should do it more. I want it at like 1.75 and then I need to close it. Sorry for the noise, but there we go. Close it, close it. Okay, 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 okay. We're right smack in the middle of the green, right? So I guess now I just leave it for a little while, see if it leaks air. And if it doesn't leak air, it shouldn't leak water. Is that how it works? My phone is beeping. Is it important, you think? Let's see. We need to wait anyway. Uh, let me try and... I don't know how to show you the gauge. Okay, lots of beeping, but... Oh my god, there's friends messaging me that I'm on their TV. Oh no, okay, I can't read this now. Okay, you can be assured it will be watertight as well. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So far, so good. Let's give it, uh, it's 21.32 right now, so we've been streaming for an hour. Uh, let's give it uh, until 21.40. Hello, Vicious. So, uh, question time, I guess, right? Who has any questions? <laughs> Bianca's here. Hi, Bianca. Bianca knows me in actual real life. <laughs> I'll read it back later, what you guys are saying. Come on, there's 111 people here. Anyone have any questions? It doesn't have to be about water cooling. It can be about LEDs or some other stuff. We have uh, seven minutes left to kill. Are you going to expand this setup? Well, I'm go actually going to build two of these. Um, I'm going to be reusing the water block that's currently in my PC. That's from Alpha Cool to go into my streaming PC, actually, with this radiator. And then in my normal PC, We'll use the uh, 360 giant, uh, your girlfriend doesn't have to be afraid of my friend radiator uh, together with this block. And um, maybe at some point I'll add the 3090 to it, but for now uh, I wanted to start out small, so we're doing just doing this. So any Christmas lights outside this year? I did have plans, um, but I think they're going to be moving to next year. I have done some stuff indoors and actually during the month of december we'll be doing lots more led videos that's why i thought hey let's do a uh, a live stream about i don't know water cooling and um let's see how that goes but there will be a lot of led videos in december because i have some setups prepared and some other guides i want to make and uh, i did the we did the christmas tree and uh yeah so lots of stuff coming up in that regard but nothing for outside for now my WLED setup with an ESP32 is randomly restarting after a few hours. Is that normal? No, that is not normal. <gasps> I forgot to turn my LEDs on. Well, you can't see them anyway right now. But... No, that's not normal. That shouldn't happen. Eh, we're keeping pressure. That's good. Hello from Normay. Thanks for all the LED tips. I've learned a lot. That's exactly what it's for. Thank you very much. What if the light on a dick quad is not blue but red? Can you still program it? Flash is blue the first time when connected to LEDs and then no longer blue and only red blinking. Uh, so if you have an ESP32, uh, there's only a red power LED. And since I don't use GPO2 on the boards but GPO16, uh, you don't see the blue LED lighting up, basically. So that that's fine, actually. There is one on the dig quad itself, but that's just a power LED. Just got my dig quad. I have not played with it yet. Cool. Okay, have fun, Jim. 
And if there's any issues, join the Discord and we can talk there. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. So what do you guys think of that little skit at the intro of the uh, re most recent LED video? I debated if I should put it in because it was quite goofy, but... I guess I should move it around a little bit too, right? Yeah. Well, it won't, it won't really move around in a PC case, but... Yeah, seems good. It was funny, I had a good laugh. Cool. <laughs> Anyone playing around with Twinkly brand lights? I installed two sets of 600 on my tree. They are amazing. Yeah. I love their, uh, I guess their software and their camera mapping ability. We really need to get an open source version of that. Uh, but the lights are very comparable to what I use in my Christmas tree last year and this year again. Uh, how to test an LED strip to know if data work or not. Uh, I guess just took it up and see if it works. I don't know. Every once in a while is fun. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my channel will always be focused on actual information and, uh, you know, but keeping it entertaining, uh, like these live streams, I mean, these are just entertainment. So <laughs> I think, uh, you know, those strips in your last video are so nice, right? They're awesome. So, yeah, um, I don't believe the needle has moved. Still right in the middle of, uh, of green. Skit was awesome. Cool. Cool. Okay, so uh, I, I guess this works. Right? Oh, there it goes. Yep, there we go. Oh, we have to put this in. Okay. Okay, let's unscrew this guy. No, wait, let's do it the, the same order as I put it in. My wife said the same thing about the, those last night on the strip. She wants it in our TV mobile. Yeah, I can, I can get that. It's really expensive though. I mean, unless you're looking directly at them, eh, it's going to be hard to recommend because if you don't look directly at them the resolution and stuff is kind of lost on it yeah they're awesome but okay um so i think we're done with this uh um air meter your live streams are always entertaining cool thank you that's good to hear where did i put the box over here Let's put the meter back in the box. It's nice that I got this. It serves its purpose very well. Okay. So I guess... No, I, okay. Well, I, I've been debating if I'd... Um, <coughs> I was thinking uh, if I build the loop in the case, I could also use air to test it instead of water. But then again, I probably want to put it in pre-filled. Um, so that doesn't make much sense, does it? Yeah. Okay. Now, how do we do this? So we have our... We are getting an epoxy river on the top in front of the TV. So I already tried one on the 44, but she doesn't trust me when I say it has the same effect. Maybe you can help. <laughs> well, um... Actually, I think the Cobb one will look nicer, uh, especially if you're getting an epoxy stuff like that. Um, I would I would certainly try it out first and see uh, if it doesn't look nicer, because once it's in there, you can't get it out anymore. And the, the Cobb one, the one I reviewed most recently, really looks very nice. So, sorry, man. Even underneath epoxy, yeah? Because that's really direct. So the cob one would already be very nicely diffused. Uh, unlike, uh, check out the hookup. Rob, he made a, a concrete slab with epoxy 
in his backyard for his uh, barbecue setup. And no, there's no disaster yet. The only on <laughs> maybe soon. Uh, but he made an epoxy setup, and on there he also made uh, LEDs. And you can clearly see the LEDs defined in there. So uh, I'd really consider the cop LEDs for that. That might actually be a great use case for them. So maybe you should listen to your wife. I mean, you know, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes we should listen to our wives. <laughs> yeah, go for the expensive stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Now what? I guess we should add water, but I also I also need power. And I need what do I need? Twelve volt power, I think. Right? We need to. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing? My girlfriend is outside laughing her head off because she was shining some LEDs inside. I don't know. They can't see you. Never mind. So uh, we need um, we need twelve volt power. Right. So I'm just going to get some sacrificial sacrificial Molex plug somewhere. Mm, is that a good plan? Yes, that's a good plan. Okay. Hello. Hello. Are you going to show yourself again? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, you're, you're quite packed. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah, I bet. Keep the door closed. Yeah. Uh, let me get a sacrificial Molex plug, which I can then connect to this one, and then I connect can connect any simple power supply to make the pump run. Oh, people are saying hello. <laughs> I'll be right back. Hold on. What about your bench power supply? Oh, yeah. Um, but I'd still need the cables. I don't know. Um, I don't think that's going to be especially more handy in this case. Um, so this one is a loop through plug. So if I just do this. Okay. And then we have black for neutral or ground and then or minus or ground and then we just snip this off there we go we need that let's do it the proper way huh uh, let's cut these a bit shorter because we're not going to use those just broke the fan on my Enter 3. Oh no. What did you do? How do you break the fan? I think I actually have some fans lying around. You can just get a replacement like a, like a Noctua. Hey. Niemann and Schaar. Oh, it's Glenn Pijnenburg. Well, I have this thing too, but it's gone dull. So I need to switch out the blade. And these are titanium blades. Hey? Hey? Titanium blades? Yeah? No? Filament made a mess. It got stuck in there. Oh, how did, how did that happen? 
Let me put some. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan, Bjorn. Okay, don't need that. So now we have uh, plus and minus 12 volt. And I actually have a two amp adapter right here. So I normally use to run a fan. And it has one of these plugs. Okay, we can fix that. Uh, where would those be? Hold on just a second. Probably have one in here too. Can't find the box. Because we need to go from 12 volt to this, and then we have two wires, and then I can just use two. Nope, not that. Why can't I find the stuff I'm looking for? Not these. And then we can connect this to that. Let's see what everyone's saying. For all the holidays, holidays going on here in Netherlands, shipping time suck right now. Yeah, that's true. Next day delivery is turning into hopefully this week delivery. <laughs> Okay, so we determined that yellow was plus, and so in this case, red. And then we have black and black. And now, although slightly elaborate, we have a 12 volt connection and this is a yep, 12 volt, two amps, so that's 24 watts. The pump is 17 watt, I believe. Should work, should work. Uh, okay, so we have power for the pump. Let's not turn that on right now because I've heard it's very bad to turn it on when it's not uh, submerged into water, the pump that is. Uh, let's see, does anybody have a good idea how to do this? I have one of these, uh, these flasks and it's currently filled with tap water, as I said, just temporary. Well, I'll take it out after this stream. Um, Okay, different discussion going on there. So, does anyone know how to do this? Because I can just squirt water in there, I guess. But then, how does that work? Uh, 
This has become slightly unwieldy. And twisted. <laughs> Pump higher than radiator. Yes. That is... Lights, camera, shower. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Uh, let's disconnect this for now. But how? Yeah, put it on a box or something to elevate it. Okay. I did prepare a box. So I have a little box here. Like that. Okay. Let's get all the wires. But then these tubes really don't like to be twisted. And for some reason they got crossed. Don't understand why that happened. Because if I twist this around, which I'm sure it works. Ah, okay, like that. But now the tubes are kind of strained. Yeah, put the pumps in a box or something to on a box. Okay, yeah, lift the pump up higher. Yeah, okay. So I want to do it like this, but the tubes want to twist back. So I guess I need to undo this. Oh. I need more hand. Okay, let's take this cable out for now. And make sure I can set it down like this. And then I should be able to squirt water into it. Or add a piece of tube to the fill port. The reservoir should be the highest though. Yeah, in this case, the reservoir is the highest. Uh, let me... Give you a better view there. So I wanted to do it like this because then the reservoir reservoir is the highest, but the tubes are bent. Tape it to the table. Yes, that's a good plan. Um, okay, I need to take this one out. Come on. Oh. I need the pliers again because I need to bend the tubes to match what they currently want to do, I guess. It's really tight getting these undone. No, 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 it should be... I just need to take the tension off the tubes, I think. So that's good to remember, if you do a water cooling setup, put it all in the uh, orientation you're actually going to use it, because otherwise the tubes will try to go a different way. Careful with the squirting, you can make quite the mess, yeah I bet. Ah, damn it. These cables are really unforgiving, or these tubes, they they really want to go to one spot and that's it. Okay. Okay, okay. So, this tube will naturally sit... Oh, wait, I have to screw this in first. This tube naturally wants to sit like this, okay? Now I can take my hands off it and it stays. And then this tube... Okay, right? That's better. It's not all twisted and... Fill the hose to the radiator already. What? What? Now fill the radiator without the pump. Makes it easier, I think. Oh, no. I'm, I'm going to use the reservoir. Oh, wait. Didn't screw this one down. Okay. Oh, 
that's not coming loose. And it still doesn't want to go all kinds of places, just where I want it. You can fill the radiator first and then connect the intestines. Yeah, okay, sure, but I'll, uh, I think I'm going to do it this way. Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, yeah, okay. So this will stay. Good. That's good. Now somebody said tape it down. I think that's an excellent idea. Oh, all the cables fell. Because it'll probably want to go everywhere. And since this is a bit hard to reach, Let's put in the extension in the middle too. If you pre-fill the radiator, save some time. Okay, well, I'll remember that for in the future, but... Um, sure. And let's put a 90 on here. No, does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. Tube and funnel will help when using big bottles later on. Getting me ready. See, that's the problem with these live streams. Everyone wants to give advice, which I really appreciate because I really don't know what I'm doing. But yeah. Okay. So now I have a setup like this. Let's hope the top cam holds out for a little while longer. Um, let's tape this down a little bit because it's not very sturdy. Okay, that didn't go great. Air must be out of the radiator or in short time the pump will burn out from the air bubble pockets. My PCAO was... Oh, okay. Yeah, sure, but in this case uh, we can get the air out using the reservoir. And an AIO doesn't have a reservoir. So I think that's a slightly different scenario. There we go, we're just gonna strap this guy down. Because I don't want it to go anywhere. Yes, this is the best radiator best water cooling setup you have ever seen. No, probably not. Okay. So now at least I know the pump. Oh wait, where do the cables go? Oh no, the cables go on the bottom. <laughs> okay. Hold on, I need to... There's this uh, cable little block thingy, and it needs to go in first. Okay. There we go. No problem. There's, a, there's this speed control thing. Let's uh, dial that all the way. What I think. No. Yes, what I think is dial it all the way back. Uh, okay. Okay. So, in theory, if I put water in here, it'll go into the reservoir. Do you agree? Let me know. Because I'm really worried I'm going to wreck stuff. Okay, I can plug this into 12 volt. And now I have, uh, you know, I can just put it in there. It'll start flowing, pull it apart. There we go. 
we had the video with the epoxy river and RGB lighting. Uh, and that's the hookup on uh, on YouTube. He has like a hundred something thousand followers, does some LED stuff sometimes. And um, it's about his back garden grilling and barbecue setup. And there he shows he also created a uh, concrete table with a epoxy river. Yes, I would put a piece of tube on a fill port too. Yeah, but then I... I I have the chance of overfilling it because if I fill more than could go in there, I guess I could drain it into a bucket then, I guess. Uh, starting to get worried. It's going to be fine. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. I'm not too certain about this. We'll see. So in theory, I just put water in here, right? You need a Gardena connect. That's a good idea. But no, it should be a closed loop. I think I think I just need to do this. <laughs> Am I going to put water in here? I think so. Yeah, we're doing it. <laughs> Spray water everywhere. Yeah, I'm afraid that's going to happen. I can't really see how full the reservoir is. That's an issue. Okay, so water is in there. Yeah, I have no way of seeing how full the reservoir is. Oh, wait, I think I can see it. Um, I put you guys over here. Still can't see a thing. Huh. Nope. Need to move this strap a little bit. Strap. It's just a piece of tape, but hey. Fuck Ben at the bung. Snoo is here. Yeah, well, if there's like there's a lot a lot of expensive stuff here. So you know, I'm just going to keep squirting water in it. Can you actually see the water? I can't. Oh, okay. I can see the level. Okay. It's now at the top of the pump. Um, I guess we uh, turn it on. Let's see. did something can you guys see anything at all let me let me make the other camera bigger there we go uh, more water I guess you could elevate it on one side of the box so one tube is higher than the other. Then there is less chance of overflowing when the air comes out of the res. Yeah, sure. You, well, you can't share it right now. I need to make you an admin for that. No, water is still in the reservoir. I think. Let me put power on again. See what happens. I don't know. Something's happening. So is this the fastest or the slowest it can go? Okay, that doesn't really do anything. I just have no idea. I can see water moving, but... Do I need to add more? Oh no, the top camera is like, okay, that's it, bye. Well, we'll, we'll have it recharge in a bit. Ah. 
I really have no idea. Let me move this one over a bit. Okay. Yeah, I might need to fill it more. I think so. Problem is, the side you're looking at is the reservoir side, and the side I'm looking at is the return side, I think. Okay. I just saw the water reach up to that extension tube I have here. I saw it. So let's run the pump again. Okay, is that good? I don't know. Oh, wow, okay. So the water level is actually right here. Uh, trying to get you guys to see that. See that? There's water in there. I can tilt it. Yeah, okay. So water is here. Um, so I guess I shouldn't add more water. So I run the pump for a little bit more, I know. It's running. Oh, the, of course, there might be air in the radiator. So, if I... Can I do this? <laughs> Fill with it running. Yeah, but... Oh, I could see water over there. Okay. There's just no way to gauge how much water is in there and how much it needs. So let me add a little bit more, I guess. Okay, I can see the water level again in that little extension tube over here. Hey, we don't have any leaks yet. Oh, well, you can see the water, can't you? If I do this. Yeah, okay. So water is right up on the edge. Let me turn it on again. Okay, and now it's gone. Okay. Oh no, there it is again. Okay. No, it's upside down. The tube should be at the bottom. What? Water levels are remaining pretty constant. Let me move the radiator around. Oh, sorry about that. And the pump became a bit quieter. That's a good sign. And when I look at it, I think I can see it flowing a little bit. See that? Yeah, okay. Cool. But water levels... Yeah, went down again, so I guess it needs wa more water.
Okay, now it's taking on a lot of water. So that probably removes an air pocket. Okay, I can see the water level again. Okay, let's turn it on. Yeah. The water needs to, okay. Yeah, but if it's in a case, it's like this too. This is exactly how it would be. Okay, but now it's running. So let me add water. Okay. Yeah, doing that. It's taking a lot of water now. Man, this takes long. Okay. Welcome to the piss in your radiator stream. Connect the garden hose. Yeah. Well, Glenn had a good... Uh, we can connect the Gardena and just disconnect it when we're done. I do not have any numbers on radiator volume. It's a 240 millimeter radiator from uh, Barrow. <coughs> 20, uh, 20 millimeters deep. The bottle upside down, it will be faster. Okay. Will it come out like that? Uh, actually, that won't be faster because the tube goes all the way to the bottom. <laughs> Oh, okay. It's right at the edge. So let me let me move the camera, uh, the microphone back a little bit. Sorry about that. Okay. And let's see if. Oh, now it's coming out. Okay, I can feel water in the radiator, but it isn't much.
get this dry real quick. Turn the pump off for a little bit in case it's running hot. I don't know. Sorry that this is a bit boring. Uh, let me fill it up with water again and then turn it on. Hold the radiator with the tubing facing down. If all goes well, all air will go to the pump. With the tubing facing down, so like can't bend it. So like this. Okay, let me fill it up till I see the water levels again. And there it is. <laughs> and let's turn it on. It's not going down yet. not taking any more water and the slushing in the radiator is well, I still feel a little bit of slushing but it's a lot less than it was before let's see try to hold the radiator horizontal inlet at the bottom outlet there's no outlet at the top the inlet and outlet are both on the same side it's going well keep filling yeah it's getting there but so now the water levels aren't really receding anymore Yeah, but it's just a loop. There is no in and out. <laughs> Turn the pump on max speed. Okay. Oh, it's making a lot more noise now. Oh man, I'm kind of afraid for this. Turning the pump down a little bit. If you block it with water, the air can't get out. Okay, sure. But that also means the reservoir is full, right? Oh, but there's no water in there right now. Okay, so I guess I add more water again. There it is. Wait, I can do this. Uh, okay, yeah, I can do that too. But so the water is right at the edge right now. Hold on, just a second. I need to unwind more. Oh no! Okay, you guys still there? <laughs> okay. No, don't do that. Okay. Um, water is right here, and if I move around with the okay pump higher speed.
<laughs> Don't fall over. So let's move it around a little bit. Yeah, but we did we use the middle port as the fill port now, but it's the same chamber as the other port, so that really shouldn't make a difference. In my opinion. Still. I'm glad nothing's leaking. I mean, I'm moving this around and all kinds of stuff. No leaks yet. So that's good. So now what do I do? See carefully if water jumps, fill port means air inside hose and radiates to those pockets. Okay. Um, yeah, when I squeeze the tube, the water comes out. Sure, yeah. Okay. So, what do I do? Let's disconnect it for now. You can move the radiator around, but there's no way for air out of the system. But it, it can just get out of the fill port, can't it? Sure, okay. So let's unstrap this thing real quick. This is where it all went horribly wrong. Well, we'll see. Because I just want to look inside of it. Yeah, if I'm looking at it right now, it's pretty full. Let me put an end cap in there so I can rotate everything. Is that an idea? I'm just, yeah, well, run it at full speed for a while. Okay. Well. But then I would need to strap it down because I don't want it to go anywhere. Like that. Oh, this tape is far. took my do not peel sticker off damn it or do not forget to remove it says on top abc yes i know guys but if you were here earlier you could have seen it wouldn't fit otherwise but it's the same chamber so i don't see why that would make a difference yes joey sure but it's the same chamber in the radiator why would the fill port or the other port make a difference it's exactly the same chamber Close the pump and hold it above the radiator to get the air to the pump. Open the pump to fill it again. Yeah, that's what I was going to try. Thanks. Now, where did I leave this end cap? Over here. I'm just going to cap it off for now, and then I'm going to turn it on while moving it around and see what that does. Well, if you can explain to me how it makes a difference, I'm willing to change it. But if you can't explain how it makes a difference, well, then it doesn't make a difference. I do not know what an OZ is. We work in liters and milliliters and stuff like that over here. Okay, that should be closed enough. I think. 
So now at least we have a closed loop. Let's turn it on. Maybe I can see what's going on now and I can actually move this around. Oh yeah, that's freeing up some air. Okay, but if you look at the level here, it's actually pretty decent. Turn it upside down. Well, that made it quiet. Oh, okay. So if you look at it now, yeah, you can't really see that, can you? So that's the pump in there. Okay, if I run it like this, it doesn't have enough water yet. Okay, let's turn it off. Yeah, it has some LEDs in there. Let me add some more water. Well, actually, no, because it's right at the fill port. I don't think I can get more in here because the, reser the reservoir is so tiny. Yeah, the, ca the cables are, so like this, the cables are down, but uh, that's the way it's been the whole time. Yeah, it looks full in the pump area, that's what I think too. I mean like this. Oh, there's water dripping. You can see um, some air in there. So if you do it like this, I can see some air in there, right? You see that over there? But that's the most amount of air I can I can find. <laughs> well, let me unscrew this again. So if I hold it like this, yeah, I can see right in there, okay. Okay, now it's right there. Which one on top? There's three ports exactly the same level, of which two are in the same chamber. If you can explain to me in a physics way how those two could be different, I'm very willing to listen. But if it's two ports in the same chamber at exactly the same level, why would it matter which port you use? Yeah, I can see circulation, yeah. Detach a tube and fill the radiator first. Well, it's filled up with water right now. I can't do that. Is your motherboard sideways? Yes. If it's in a case, it will be exactly like this. Okay, let's see again. So full pump speed, people say. Okay. And now let's move the radiator around a bit. There's no slushing in the radiator anymore, so that's good. Ok, 
Okay, I see a little bit of air escaping because I filled it up to the brim and now we have a little pocket here again. So let's turn it off again. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. So now the fill port should be clear again. If I do it like this. So now the fill port is the highest point. Mm, I can't move the camera right now, sorry. So I add a bit more water. Oh no, I added too much water. Let me clear it first. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying, Joey, and I understand what you're saying, but I don't agree with that those ports will make any difference. Because they're at the exact same height in the same chamber. Pump is circulating where pump I saw. Yeah, yeah, I believe the water is circulating in the pump. Okay, so I have it plugged up again, and if I move the block around now, there's no air bubbles inside of the reservoir, right? You can see that? Well, vaguely. There's a tiny little bubble there, but it's almost nothing. So now let's turn it on again. Uh, no, but if you can explain to me why, Joey, I might be willing to listen. But unless you can tell me why, my hypothesis hypothesis is just as valid as yours. Because it's the same chamber at the same height. Okay, pump is running. see some air bubbles just moving it around trying to get the bubbles to go into the block or the reservoir actually but I think it's pretty full now <laughs> thanks Hepe how did you fry the first one I think it's uh, pretty full now. No, I think we managed to get the most of the air out there, Joey. So in theory, like this, all air would go to the top, right? And there's no air. There's just... Okay, hold. I, I heard a bloop from the radiator, so I guess there's still some air in there. But like this, 
it should go from the radiator because it's the top to the pump and then stay stay in the well, well I can turn this one around if you really want me to yeah it's pretty full now okay let me put this down there I get what you're saying, Joey, but maybe this radiator combo block wasn't the best idea to get the air out. <laughs> And I mean, sure, in a, in a case, maybe this one will be higher than this one. But in my case, if I hold it like this, my little extension stack will always be highest, wouldn't it? Yeah, and the water, the water is right there. It's a bit hard to see, but... I do not believe there is much or any air left in the system right now. Or at least, I can't get it out. Oh, I'm definitely stubborn. Sorry about that. We can uh, talk about it outside of the live stream, but... Uh, I don't see any air anymore. Oh, wait. Here's a bit. So, radiator, or um, CPU block, radiator, no, CPU block, reservoir, pump combo, difficult to fill. <laughs> well, no leaks, certainly. Yes, that's, that's a good win. That's true win. You can always add water later after it's installed. Okay. But if you look at my bottle, this is how much went into it. Because it was completely full before we started. Is that not enough? Twenty percent air, okay. The wire facing camera downwards. Don't know what that means. Fill a bucket with water, dump the whole loop in there, it will fill itself. That is true, but then once you go and close it up, it's going to be a big mess. And, uh, yeah. Well, uh, Brent, some others have been talking about that too. <coughs> but basically you have A, B, and C. And A and B are in the same chamber. And then C is in another one. And since this is just a straight through loop, it really doesn't matter. Okay, sure, Joey, I, that I can understand. I don't know what an OZ is. How many milliliters is an OZ? <laughs> Oh, 
Well, this was the first test and I'm going to drain it anyway. So do we want to drain it into this bucket? You should change the tubes. But then what difference does that make? I mean, yeah, okay. I don't understand. Okay, maybe I need to read up some more theory about this, but if it's just a circle going around, I can change these two ports or with this one whatever but I don't understand what difference that would make but okay sure Le okay uh, how long have I been streaming I have no idea uh, oh it's already been two hours uh, well let's dump the water at least and then I'll figure out if I want to continue or not I always keep telling myself, let's not stream that long today. <laughs> right. So, let's uncap this. Yeah, I know, I have no idea about OZs. Okay, this is coming. And now I think I just need to hold the radiator. It should drain out, right? Yeah. Okay, if that's what was in there, that's not a lot. I find that a bit hard to believe. Oh yeah, also disconnect the tube. Yeah, sure. Oh no. Uh, unscrew the fitting again. I'm just gonna do this for now because I'm getting irritated with it. Come on. Okay, that's not working. Where is my wrench thingy? Well, this is going to be interesting. Starting to get slightly annoyed. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna twist this tube and hope that works to get it actually out of there. Yeah, come on. Okay. You guys didn't see that, right? <laughs> well, nothing short circuited so far. There's water on my screen. Nothing happening here. Okay. Okay, that's working. Yeah, we'll consider this the uh, the first uh, cleaning. Uh, 
run. Come on. Yeah, see, I actually thought I was making my life easier by uh, getting one of these combination units, but that doesn't turn out to be the case. So might have to rethink that strategy. Okay, I think most of it's out of there now. Okay, that should be most of the water, I think. Because if I now move the radiator up a lot, nothing happens. Okay. Still some more water. Okay, that's good enough, I think. How about we add a fill port on the radiator using a T-junction. Is that a thing? Because the radiator in the case will be on top. Will be on top. Let me know. So the amount of water, if you look at the bucket, it's a decent amount of water, I think. Yeah. I don't think that was too bad, actually, but I'm not the expert. Okay, let me move this one to the other side because two cameras in the same spot doesn't make sense. Okay, so if I look at uh, all the stuff I have here, I have, for instance, these. Use a separate reservoir. I don't have a separate reservoir. So I have uh, one of these, for instance. Okay. Yeah, sure. We'll we'll do that, Joey. I don't think it's going to make a difference, but we'll see. So <clears throat> you're saying move the middle one to oh, of course I have to undo this eh. okay Yeah, okay, sure. So in the case, it will be somewhat like this. And then the top port should be the fill port. Okay, let me connect the hoses first to these two. Wait, I need to add this thing.
Okay, so now it's in there like this and the top port, which is port... Oh, I did it the wrong way around. Of course I did it the wrong way around. Hold on, I did it the wrong way around. Okay, that needs to go. This can stay, but I need to do this. Why do both parts always turn at the same time when I don't want them to? Okay, this is coming out. all the water was out there out of it uh okay so we now have a uh where am i a b and c a is fill so let's stick the uh no can't stick that in there why well, can't 82 people watching still jesus can't get enough of my uh, stumbling along. Okay, this is fill, right? We're gonna leave that alone. And then we have inlet and outlet. Now, coming from the radiator, is there an inlet or an outlet because it's just flowing through the radiator? I don't think it can make any difference. Yeah, I have an extra piece of tube. That's fine. I can cut it off. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter. Thank you. Uh, so I can put one down here. People just like to see you struggle. You have to... That's what these live streams are turning into. At some point I'll do a live stream of stuff I am good at. <laughs> I guess it will be less fun. Yeah, I, underst I understand C is outlet of the pump, but in this case, since it's a loop with two uh, tubes, what difference does it make? The radiator doesn't have an in and an out. Hey, IMAX is back. Cool. Let me... Oh, twist the tube again. And it's fitting. Yeah, okay, sure. Sure. So in the end, you think it will go in like that. I actually don't want it to go in like that. I want it to go in like that, but okay. Maybe that's not an option. I don't know. Nope come off again <coughs> let me try and get this screw down Ok, 
Okay, good enough. Oh, but then we run into this problem again. That I won't be able to screw that in, but I have more extension pieces. Let's get one of the same length. That'll at least look decent. More extension tubes. So funny to see people more stubborn than me. Yeah, well, I can be quite stubborn. That is true. Okay. So now we have two towers. One is in C, which will be at the bottom. So if I put this one in there. My wife is starting to wonder what I'm yelling towards. Yeah. Sorry about that. Okay. Put it like that. It does not want to screw it. Oh no. Ah. <laughs> I don't know, Joey. Well, uh, we'll see about that. Yeah, exactly. I just want to understand. I just, uh, you know. So, this needs to be on the bottom, you say. That's fine. We could do that. Let's move this out of the way. And I guess we should connect a, a piece of tubing to the fill port. This is A, yes, A, over here, A. This is A, B, C, A. Um, I'll have to cut a piece to make sure I keep enough. Um, do, 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 yeah, I guess I'll just cut a piece. Any ideas uh, what the length should be, Joey? Because you seem to be a, know a lot of this. Maybe something like this. Is that a good length for a fill tube? What is the point of this live stream? The point is I was going to figure this out tonight. And I turned on my camera. So now you guys are here too. Maybe 10 centimeters. Okay, sure. I'll just do a piece like this. So, whenever you have to do something that's similar to what I've done in one of these live streams, you at least have a heads up. <laughs> and yes, we can lay the radiator on the box because we'll just close the box and then we'll put it like this and okay didn't like that Jesus this needs to go down so this would be the way I guess it's too much tension on these uh, your background music yeah let me just uh tape this radiator down
Yeah. Okay. Okay. So radiators uh, tape down and it's in a bucket with water. So if it spills, it goes everywhere. And that's a good plan. And then um, <clears throat> let's put the block like this. And uh, if, well, you can't really see it here, but A is over here, B is here, and C is here. Okay, so A is over here. I'm going to attach the tube. This is a new piece of tube, so it needs a bit of force. Okay. Why not the radiator in the box? I don't know, because it needs to be higher. Yeah, I think in this case, the air will actually go to the radiator and get stuck in the radiator, but... But we can always move this at, above the radiator, so hopefully then it comes loose. Um, okay, so now I have this tube here. Oh man. Are you guys okay with this camera, or should I turn on the top camera and see? That will work for a few minutes again. Yeah, air needs to get out. But once it's running, I can move the radiator. That's, that's fine. Hi from Argentina. Hey there. So, I guess I should start filling it for now, at least, without the pump on. You get water in the block. We didn't do the air test this time, but it's probably going to be fine. Yeah, I think air will get trapped in the radiator too, but we'll see. Because it's not mounted in a PC case right now, I can just move it on, move it, but Pump needs to be higher. What? You, you told me to do it like this. I'm just filling the radiator right now, or the reservoir right now. I'm not doing much else. You can't add a T piece with a valve to let air out. Yeah, I can. I have lots of pieces. Okay, but then, okay, then I shouldn't have taped it, then I should tape this one to the box again and not this one, the way I had it, except now we only change these ports. And now I'm stuck with a piece of tubing in my hand, which I can't release because then all water will run out. Um. I'm uh, going to run the pump for a little bit, just to get the water going. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, well, we'll we'll do that in a minute. I'm I'm gonna. Oh no 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 no! It's leaking already. Yeah, but it didn't drain the water from the hose again, just like last time. Hmm. Maybe we should just blow on it. Blow, blow the water in there. Okay, let me turn it on. And fill it more. Oh no! See, the, the water is backing up. You want to pump on high speed, right? I don't want to run it too fast while it's dry, but... Yeah, it's not taking the water in. Yeah. Point avoid it, yeah. Okay. But it's not, the water isn't going in. It doesn't want to take the water in. Let me turn it off. Okay, took it this time. Good. Um, should I change this one to top and this one to down? I think so. It sucks now I can't cap it. <laughs> Thanks, Steven. Bye. And then you want to have that port remain at the top. Get that. Okay. Then this should be better, right? At least something heavy on the rat, then it will knock you in the eye. <laughs> I don't have on something right now, but it should stay put like this. This this should be okay. Yeah, well, if I take the tube off, it'll just run out. And I need to keep this port on the top. Uh, let me do, change something real quick though. There. That at least makes it easier. Okay. So I'm going to turn it on again.
Yeah, exactly. I think that is what's happening in part. Well, then I wouldn't have learned, Joey. So this is all about learning. Taking some water, but it's still dripping out now and then too. Or it's actually not taking water. Hmm. So what do I do when it's not taking water like this? I can move the radiator around. Yeah, the radiator feels empty. Let me turn this off. Okay, clear tubing is a good uh, good remark. Let air out. Yes. Tell me how. Because <laughs> this for sure isn't working. Oh no. Now I let water out. Put the pump on the tables with the tube facing up. Okay. Sure. But. Because I'm trying it the way you want me to try it, but I don't feel like it's working very well. So I might as well try it this way, then at least I can see the water. Place a valve at the radiator. I can do that. Fill radiator first. Sure. Yeah, that's the issue. My uh, unit is a reservoir pump block combo. And that actually makes it a lot harder, harder I have now learned. Because filling it is a B-I-T-C-H. It turns out. I didn't know this. So let's see this way. Oh cool, I can actually see air flowing now. Yes, tricky indeed. Oh. Yeah, you'd think the air would bubble out of this one, but it doesn't. Now it took the water. Whoa. And now it spritzed the water. Yeah, I think it took in the water now. I think what might have been happening is if I filled it too much, the air would indeed block it. Or the water would block it. Now I can actually see a, a bubble where I'm pouring the water in. Well, it's not going any better now that I've changed those two ports, to be honest, but okay. Let's see again. I think I need to move this around a bit.
Let me guys give you guys a bit of a better view. Because I think if you if I if I push now, you can see the water running, right? Okay, so now it's filling up the tube again. Yeah, so let me move my mic back, by the way. I think for some reason it's getting blocked, just like uh, in the first try. And um, if I stop filling, and I take it into my hand, and I just move it around, that kind of unblocks it so I can fill more. Well, yeah, I get that, but otherwise it'll just pour out. No, it's not blocking. There's plenty of room there. There's some water in the radiator now, but not a lot. I'm afraid I'm running this pump a bit dry. Hmm. So for some reason, while I'm filling it, I think the reservoir might just be too uh, too tiny or too small. Because while I'm filling it, I'm also blocking the way of the air out of there. Uh, so I need to keep... Because uh, if you see now, you see some water moving. No, I tried it with the pump in the right orientation and was doing exactly the same thing. I mean, it's just not doing it. I'm running the pump pretty slow. I need to move it back onto this again. This is a lot more frustrating than hooked. Yeah, pump on and off as I fill it. Yeah, and this is just a really tiny reservoir, so <laughs> it just fills up really quickly, and then I have to slush it around to get the air out, or to get the air in the reservoir again, and turn it on and off and on and off and on and off. I think that's the way to do it.
Now the pump has a control knob on it, so that's not a problem. So there's this uh, little knob here. Keep it like that and replace hose with filling 45 key connector. Yeah, then we're exactly back to where we started. That's what I was doing. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm starting to get slightly irritated. So we're, uh, whatever happens at 12 o'clock, we're cutting this off. The tubes are lower, and uh, yeah, that's exactly how I have it, Wim. Sorry, you guys can't see much. Right. Now it's working. to move the everything around again to get it to go to actually flow. Okay, I can hear some uh, slushing in the radiator. But it's filling up, it's feeling heavier already. Oh no! It's leaking. Okay. Oh no, it's leaking everywhere. No, stop! I'm glad it's okay to get my bench wet, but this fitting came loose. Yeah, but this isn't any different than I did it the first time. And changing those ports didn't uh, change anything, to be honest, Joey. Sorry. Just a very tedious process like this. So if I keep doing it like this, it will fill. But, oh man, it'll take a while.
Yeah, it, it's doing it, but it's not any better than we did it the first time, in my opinion. It's a nice combination unit for when you don't have space for a reservoir. I actually would have had plenty of space for a reservoir. But I think it's uh, it's just too small. Trying to balance it all is kind of a nightmare. I looked at three videos now and all three have different ports orientations. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. I, I, I think it's more an issue with this block pump combo what everything he then what we were doing Separate reservoir and fill port. Yeah, I might actually buy a reservoir before I start to actually do this project because the way it's going right now. Eh. Let's turn the pump up now that it has some water in there. Okay, now water is making it through it, the way through it, through the system. I'm sorry you can't really see that right now, but I am looking at your messages, Gor Gorgon. Well, there aren't really grinding noises. It's not running dry. I'll check the top cam in a minute. Just turning it every way so that air tries to make it out. Sure, I'll turn it off. Oh wait, no, 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 you need to do it this way. 
So, keep this hose pointing up. Let's see if I can do that with one hand. Not really. There. Yeah, yeah, hold on. I'm just trying to get the air out of the radiator first to, into the reservoir block and then I'll turn it on again. Okay. Oh, it's leaking already. Okay. I'm glad I didn't uh, do this in my computer. That would have been a very bad day. Okay, the reservoir is completely filled up. This power connection like this is actually uh, pretty handy. So, oh. so the, the two wires like that, I can connect it with one hand and don't have to mess with the PC power supply. Actually, uh, pushing it in and out with my finger cleared it up. There's no grinding noise. Now and the pump looks pretty clear from air too. Let me slush the radiator. Yeah, the grinding noise you're hearing is because it's on the block or on that um, <coughs> on that tub. No, no, that's just because it's on the uh, on this thing, which makes it reverberate like crazy. But the uh, the radiator feels full now. There's no slushing whatsoever anymore. Okay. Sounding a little bit better, that's true. The connectors and stuff are at least working quite well, very watertight. What are we trying to accomplish today? Well, this is a noob at water cooling trying to water cool it something. Or trying water cooling, basically. Let me give it a little bit more power. Let me hold the 
like this. There. Don't do it like that. Okay. And then. Yeah, I think we're pretty much there. I can't really make it slush anymore except... No. He's not to a sponsor of yours. They have sponsored me before, yeah. Oh. I think... Uh, this is most of it again. What do you guys think? There's no real air that I can see right now. And a little bit of air should get trapped in the radiator, or in the reservoir, I think. No, I'm just trying to get the air bubbles loose. I, I understand that the reservoir needs to be the highest point, or have room inside of it, which this one doesn't. <laughs> um, I'm actually tempted to unscrew this. Okay, that's full of water, that's obvious. Yeah, I think we're pretty much there in regards to uh, filling it. Let me pour out a little bit. Okay. And then let's cap it off. Yeah, exactly, that's what I thought, uh, Gorgon. Thanks for the help, uh, Gorgon and Joey. I know I'm a bit stubborn. I don't think this changed a lot versus the method I was doing with the ports, Joey. I still don't think that makes a difference in this case. I know it does not some blocks and stuff like that. But if it's a single chamber with two ports, yes, one could be higher than the other. But I believe in this case, as you've seen, it didn't really change that much. So let me make sure this is all tightened down. And I'm not going to run it like this, don't worry. Uh, it needs some cleaning and then it needs distilled water and stuff like that. Yeah, way too small res. I think that's the problem. Basically the, the water flow is blocking the airflow by itself. Refills, yeah, okay, well, I'm not going to do that once it's in the system. So let me turn it on now. Wait, let me put it on its side. Okay, there's some air in there now, but that's normal. I just let some out. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not, I wouldn't say this pump doesn't have any power. That's, uh, I mean, let me, here. Oh, yeah. Sounds a lot better this way. Or it actually slowed down. I don't know. Yeah, well, then I don't know how to fix it. I can turn off the music. That's fine. Okay, okay, there's air in the pump. I don't know how to fix it.
<laughs> yeah, I was hoping this would have been a nice, like, all-in-one kind of block that I could just build outside of the case and then mount it in there. But because of that, it also has its own issues, I guess. Which kind of sucks. Well, we turned it off, Marcel. You know nothing about water cooling Jon Snow. Yes, Gwyndor doesn't either. I, I, I told you that going into this. Now it's good. <laughs> Let, let's not do it again tomorrow. But um, I will figure this out at some point. Yeah, but then it needs to go like this. Oh, I think I have one of those. Let's see, do I have one of those? I haven't... Uh, does that help? I have an exhaust valve. Should I screw that on there instead of the uh, the cap? <laughs> I mean, I bought all kinds of stuff, that's for sure. <clears throat> oh, yeah, you can uh, push it in. Okay, let's let's put the exhaust valve on and then let's start working towards uh, rounding off this stream in a little bit. Okay, unscrewing the top. There's water right there. Don't need that accessory. Oh, don't need that necessarily. Okay. Well, maybe I knew it needed in my case. Huh? What do you think? Okay. So now the exhaust valve is on there. Let's see what that does. Turn it on again. Nothing so far. Hmm, not sure how this works. Oh, I have headphones on. Did I kill the pump or... Uh, probably. Oh, no, still starting. Oh no. Won't exhaust air if there's no water to fill the void, okay? Orient the reservoir over the pump. Okay. Go like that. And let it rest, sure. Well, uh, we're heading towards, toward, towards, towards 12 o'clock anyway, so that uh, we have about 13 minutes left. Um... I kind of want to leave the water cooling <laughs> where it is right now. I kind of imagined it going this way. I mean, yeah, the bottle's almost empty. Um, you know, uh, turn it off when you hear the bubbles. Okay. If you pressurize the loop, for example, when it heats up, the exhaust valve might help. Yeah, but in the actual system, this will always be below this guy. 
so then wouldn't adding it to a side port so what I was thinking in in the actual system it, it would be like this right and uh, this one would be somewhat like something like this uh, whatever okay if I if I use the T junction here and I did, did like that and put the exhaust valve there would that help Oh, it's turned off. <laughs> it, it's not running right now. You told me to give it some rest. So it's resting. Okay. Yeah, because if I look in here... Uh, let me see if I can give you a close-up. Right now, there is quite a bit of, uh, let's see, the water level, the water level is over here. And this is air, right? So if I move that around. Yeah. Okay. So now let me switch this over and do it like that. Whoop. Oh, there's fireworks outside. So now, in theory, this has become a giant wire mess. Um, so now, in theory, the air should be up here. Correct? So let's remove this end cap again. Um, see, I can't leave this alone. So if I start filling this, no, it's just leaking out. You see, there should be air there, but there's not. Air will work itself out. Okay. Let's run it real quick with it open like this. Maybe it'll explode. And yeah, nothing's happening. It's not pushing the air. And turn it up higher. Oh. It's not doing anything. So we saw the air in there, but if you look at this, the water is right there. Yeah, but I don't want to refill it from time to time. Yeah, I stopped it. Don't worry. Okay, close it. Okay, it's closed. Sure, Joey, that's nice. Thanks. But this uh, this pump block reservoir combo might not be the best thing for beginners. I'm starting to learn. You have to in the beginning. What? Um, Trap King Beats, the uh, best place for questions on Dig Udo is on Discord. Uh, the link is in the description. Should be. Um, so maybe the air is trapped in the wrong chamber, I guess. That's what the problem is. Yeah, I guess that's what the problem is. The air is currently trapped in the wrong chamber. And it doesn't want to make its way through the radiator to the other part. Now orient the reservoir over the pump. Sure. But that's exactly how I just had it. Still at it. Yeah. I'm hard to give up. But I told myself 12 o'clock would be it. <coughs> 
You have to refill it a few times in the beginning. Okay, sure, but I can do that outside of my PC. Because I'm not going to do this shit inside of my PC, that's for sure. Yeah, so what I think the problem is, is that it might the air might be in one chamber, but it needs to go to the next for somehow. You have to refill it a few times. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, so you want it like this. This is the reservoir. Pump is over here. This is why you buy air cooling. Well, it's certainly a lot easier. Um, okay. So run it like this. Sure. Okay. But in the system, it won't be in this orientation because it's, well, it's outside the computer right now. Um, yeah, I'll let it run. That's fine. But in the system, it'll be oriented on its side. Does that make sense? Man, this has been a journey. Five minutes, I'm calling it. Yeah, I'm thinking that might be a good choice, uh, Joey. Yeah, but in the case, it will not go in this orientation. That's not possible. We, we checked that at the beginning of the stream, if you want to look that back. But in the case... LED, 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 turn it on. We need something good. Uh, I don't want to... No, no, no. We can't do that in four minutes. Sorry. Full power. <laughs> Thanks for time. Just grab some jumper wires. Ah, I guess I could do that. Okay, okay. Uh, no, where is the LED? This is the LED wire. Okay. Does it say what is what? It does not. 230 volts, the pump will certainly do something. Well, it's doing something now. Uh, 
Oh, oh. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. This is not the orientation. It can only go into the main board like this. Or like this. Those are the only two positions. That's it. It cannot go like this. It's not possible. Yeah, they're addressable LEDs. Should be. Maybe I can hook them up with some DuPont. Let me see if I have DuPont wires right here. Should have somewhere. Uh, I don't know where. Oh. <clears throat> Too many boxes in this small office. Wrong type. Oh no. These are the right type. Nice. Okay. Still not the right type. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, sorry. We're, we're calling it. We're calling it one minute. We'll have to look at the LEDs some other time. I'll post it on Discord for sure um, at some point. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird thing I got there. I know, I, I, and I understand the conventional wisdom, but I don't think it really applies to this thing. I don't know, man. Yeah, okay, I'm turning the pump off. So, I'll give it a few more minutes. Um, thank you everyone who was here and stumbled along with me. Thank you, Joey, and thank you, Gorgon, trying to get me to do the right thing. Uh, this was going to be a learning stream to start with. And, uh, well, I learned that this combination, although it sounded easy, it might not be. Uh, so maybe going with a separate pump and a separate reservoir is actually much easier than trying to go with an all-in-one unit like this because, well, it seems almost impossible to get the air out. Um, thanks everyone for being here. There's still 72 people here after three hours and 32 minutes. Nobody's ever going to watch this back. Anyway, thank you all for being here and suffering with me. And uh, try with the fill port on top. My best guess. Yeah, we tried that. It, uh, it doesn't work. I think the reservoir is just too small to get it to fill nicely. So, um, yeah, really going to call it. Thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Uh, I need to get the mouse. Later.